Ramina, what was your reaction watching Deshaun address the media? It's hard not to see the juxtaposition between, um, you know, Watson's statement saying he's uh, going to be accountable for what happened, the NFL coming out, the Browns saying he's expressed remorse, his remarks uh, last week expressing some contrition, and then what you saw there, which is his stance that he did nothing wrong, which comes across as unapologetic. It's hard not to see that and feel like the NFL didn't get played. Um, you know, he did apologize to those who were triggered. That's not actually an apology, frankly. Um, it is, however, the same language that the Browns used a few weeks ago, D and Jimmy Haslam, in response to the initial suspension. We apologize to anyone who's triggered, to the women involved, to anyone impacted. You'll note the passive language there, which invites questions mm -hmm. like, triggered by what? Impacted how? Involved in what way? I think the lack of specifics is, frankly, quite telling and, for me at least, reflects why so many people are frustrated by this suspension. The $5 million is fine, which is, of course, a fraction of what Deshaun Watson earned, and you can't help but feel like accountability remains elusive. Key, what do you make of what he had to say today? It's simple for me in, in this situation. Everybody apologizes differently, mm -hmm. okay? Do I think he's remorseful in the situation that he got himself caught up in? Probably so, but he doesn't know how to express that. When mm -hmm. you're in front of people and they're asking you questions, he's tippy-toeing around it because he doesn't want to say the wrong thing. Because if he says the wrong thing, imagine what is getting ready to happen to him and what ha has happened to him already in terms of suspension. The suspension is light to me. It's, it really yeah. is. Because if I was the individual, Adam, that had to lay down the suspension, he would get a full year, don't want to hear anything else. He's done for a whole year. Okay. And I'm going to take, like Mina said, the economics of it was short. $5 million is a drop in the bucket. I don't care about what he, the settlement part of it is because we'll never know that. But the five, we know about the $5 million. Yeah. I would take the top, because we, we would consider if he was healthy and fully, he's probably a top five quarterback. I'm going to take the top five averages of those salaries, which is probably, what, $40 million plus dollars. Yeah. And that's Today's what I'm going to hit his pocket for. Yeah. I'm going to hit his pocket for $40 plus million, and he's missing the entire year. See me in 2023. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.